These are the 2015 Core Elite Exo Battle Suits. These things look pretty sweet, with an emphasis on looks. These Exo Battle Suits are... Bleh. We all know what influence they came from. If not aliens, then Exo Squad. So I'm gonna call these things E-Frames. Also, doesn't Rucker look a lot like JT Marsh? Or Troll look like a Neo Sapien? Nah, he still looks like Igor. We've already taken a look at Troll not too long ago, and we'll be taking a look at Rucker later on, but for now, we'll take a look at both of the E-Frames. These things look pretty much the same, the only differences are the front hatch, color scheme, and decals. Troll's E-Frame reminds me of Airman from Mega Man 2, but I'll let my old buddy Dan Classic talk about Troll's E-Frame. Rucker's E-Frame is very plain. Starting at the top, it does have this minigun here, and it swivels around. And then you can see the bullet bandolier coming off the side. And some more detail on the gun. Coming down the hatch, we do have this right here. I'm not sure what that is, maybe a speaker or some kind of an air hose. And then there's a vent. So there's a couple of vents on the sides. Coming down the leg, it says Des Troy. And Core Divers. That's really interesting. And it also says no step, so I'm not sure you're supposed to, you know, don't step here to get in. I, I don't know. But that's interesting. This thing is, um, it's desert colored with desert camo, but it says Core Divers. Huh. On this side it says Cowboy. So I'm guessing that's the nickname of this. And then we do have this decal right here. On this decal it says XS28.1.2 and underneath that it says kicking butt and taking names of of bad guys the world around. LW. It's funny it says of of on there. Another interesting note is that even on the packaging it says of of on the leg. It's really weird. The left arm has some kind of a gun and a chainsaw and we can see all the detail on the arm right there. On the right arm he does have the spotlight. He has a lot of detail, some mechanics there and then this claw. The claw does open up. There's also a chain here that's definitely for moving the legs of course. And then more detail. Looking inside, he does have a bunch of instruments here. Small screen, I'm not sure how he's going to see that. And some kind of a speaker there. And the figure is held with a clip. Now this is the part that really sucks. This thing is hollow and that really stinks because these things look cool but they're hollow and i get it, it's a price cutting measure but still that's just that's really disappointing i find it interesting that the decal says core divers but this is obviously a desert machine i mean the tan and the desert camo and it says cowboy on it and those are all very desert things I mean, maybe this thing was made to go on mud? Maybe they're gonna dive into mud? I don't know, that's just really confusing. Now we're gonna talk about Rucker version 3. Rucker's first appearance was in the core New Recruits. This is where we found two versions of him. He is very common, and you may have seen him floating around flea markets and eBay many times. Rucker version 2 has a tan vest, green sleeves, and green camo pants. Rucker version 1 is my favorite version. He comes with a tan jacket. Okay, I know, it's just different arm colors, but that makes a huge difference. There is another difference to the tan jacket Rucker. His name was actually Ricochet. That's right, Rucker actually had a pretty cool name. Unfortunately, there was another character from another company that had that same name. So it was dropped for the super lame name of Rucker. It's kind of like Gung Ho. The Core's original name was Gung Ho, 
And because G.I. Joe had a character named Gung Ho, Lenard couldn't use it for their new figure series. Rucker version 1 is very rare to find on the core market. I lucked out on eBay and found him with a lot, with a bunch of core figures that I already owned. I have been actively looking for another version of Rucker version 1 for about 5 months and I have not seen one other one pop up. Rucker's body has been shared by many other core characters. Just in case, Hawk, Rucker, Jump, and finally, Colonel Preston Packard from the Kong Skull Island series. Rucker was the leader of the Corps during the New Recruits and Total Soldier lines. That all changed when his friend, Shadow, became Plague and Rucker didn't feel that he could face him. So, Rain took over the mantle as leader of the Corps. Rucker actually has a brother in the Super Soldier 6 inch figure line, Dynamite. Let's take a look at his bio. Codename Dynamite. He is a 6 inch Super Soldier. His primary skills are MMA Champion and Lethal Fighter. For years, Dynamite was the prominent middleweight champion and prize fighter of the MMA, until one fateful bout with an untrained street fighter knocked him out in the first round. Humiliated and disgraced by his fans, he left the limelight to train in secrecy, vowing never to lose again by any means possible. When his brother Rucker, leader of the Corps, heard the news he persuaded Dynamite to enlist promising he would be trained by the most skilled and lethal fighters in the world. After training side by side with the Corps and Kenji, he mastered the ways of Kendo, Ninpo, Taijutsu, and Judo. Finally ready to put his skills to the test, he joins his brothers in arms in fight against the curse. Dynamite is known as the most tenacious and unyielding soldier in the Corps. Hopefully his fighting spirit will give the Corps a chance against the curse. You would think that Rucker, aka Alex Brody, would have another brother or cousin with Diesel, aka Deck Brody, but they are completely unrelated. At least that's what I get from their bio. I mean, it doesn't mention anything about Alex or Deck, and it's just out there in the open. I also hope that you enjoyed my series of the Core Elite videos. Yes, this is the last of my Core Elite collection at this time. There are a couple of large holes in my collection though. The Beast Bomber, the Rainfire Helicopter, the Battle Cruiser, First Response Patrol Boat, and the Beast Strike Playsets. Although to be fair, the Beast Strike Playsets may be an international thing for now, and I really hope that we get them here in the States in the new series. Although I am not currently going to be doing a review on these awesome vehicles and playsets, I'm planning on getting them if they appear again on the toy shelves. Maybe they'll appear during the new series, or if I could get them at retail price. I mean, I refuse to pay any more because these things are relatively new. I'd like to thank GrizzGeek for letting me use any figures from his collection. Also a huge thanks to everyone at the Core Fans HQ. Without their forums, I would be lost on a lot of these figures. This forum is a great fountain of information regarding the Core. And finally, to Hooded Cobra Commander 788. If it wasn't for your technique, I don't think I would have figured out how to properly document these guys. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more videos! Troll's E-Frame reminds me of Airman from Mega Man 2, but I'll let my old duddy... Duddy... Rucker's first appearance was in the Core New Recruits. This is where they made... When his brother, Rucker, leader of the Core, heard the news... Persuaded Dynamite... When his brother... When his brother, Rucker, lurk... When his brother, when his brother Rucker, leader of the Corps, heard that after training side, after training side by side with Corps, so many motorcycles. At least that's what I get. At least that's what I get.